trapeze band steering increases wireless capacity 30 to 40 percent by transparently steering clients to the unused 5 gigahertz band. And it simplifies the segregation of voice and data clients onto different bands for maximum scalability and performance. Here's how it works. Most enterprise-grade access points have two radios. Typically, one radio is set to 5 GHz for 802.11a clients, and the other is set to 2.4 GHz for 802.11bg clients. Normally, when laptops, PDAs, and phones first try to connect to a wireless network, they probe the airwaves on each band the device supports. By default, most clients are configured to prefer the 2.4 GHz band because 2.4 GHz has better range, so there's more chance of finding a network to join. While this is good for home users and small networks, it's not so good for high-density networks. That's because in a high-density network, most devices end up on the 2.4 GHz band while the 5 GHz band remains idle. Also compounding the problem, there are many devices, especially phones and medical devices, that only support 2.4 GHz and do not support 5 GHz at all. The net result is, it's easy to congest the 2.4 GHz band, and that's bad news for voice quality and scalability. Although it's possible to manually reconfigure company laptops to prefer 802.11a, it's not really practical. So most wireless networks suffer from the pattern you see playing out here. Congestion on BG, while A, which has three to five times the capacity, remains virtually unused. Now let's see that again with band steering enabled. With trapezes band steering, clients that support both bands get tricked into transmitting on 5 GHz instead of defaulting to 2.4 GHz. So you get much less congestion on the 2.4 GHz band and can support many more clients than before. What's more, by balancing the load more appropriately across bands, every client gets a better experience. And when a steered client roams to an adjacent access point, it stays on the same band, so it continues to preserve precious 2.4 GHz bandwidth for voice or other services. Okay, but what's so good about moving data clients to 5 GHz? Well, because 5 GHz allows many more non-overlapping channels than 2.4 GHz, you can deploy 3 to 5 times the density of radios on the 5 GHz band, and that dramatically increases the aggregate bandwidth available. But all that extra capacity is worthless if there are no 5 GHz clients to enjoy it. With band steering, you can exploit all the extra bandwidth for data services and massively improve the scalability of voice services on BG. Now you can handle many more voice and data clients before the 2.4 GHz band gets overloaded. Best of all, it's free. It's simple to configure. It's totally standards compliant and completely transparent to your users. In fact, the only thing they'll ever notice is better performance. Trapeze Networks once again demonstrates its thought leadership by introducing this innovative feature. Trapeze band steering increases wireless capacity 30 to 40 percent by transparently steering clients to the unused 5 gigahertz band, and it simplifies the segregation of voice and data clients onto different bands for maximum scalability and performance.